Hi, this is Finnish Toilets VT, welcoming you to the Emerald City. This is the 1952 Elger Silenta, and it's matching lavatory, the Martha Washington, both in pastel green. These have been in place for two years, and we like them. They function beautifully, and they're staying. Today I'm going to measure the amount of water that the Elger Silenta actually uses. I'm going to turn the water off, flush the toilet to empty the tank, then manually refill it. Then I'll turn the water back on, aim the bowl refill tube into a gallon jug, flush the toilet, and then measure the water that comes back into the jug. Now, this toilet was made in 1952, and one might think that this is a five-gallon toilet. Elger claimed that their toilets use less. We'll see. The tank cover is off, and the tank is filled to the water line. I'm going to turn the water off, and I'm going to flush the toilet to empty the tank. The bottom of the tank is like a swimming pool. It has a shallow end and a deep end. But this is how much water remains in the tank. I'd say two and a half inches here. Maybe three quarters to one here. And the fill valve is in a little bit of a uh, depression or a well. <clears throat> So now I'll fill the tank manually. Here comes gallon number one. Gallon number two. We're probably about three inches below the water line. And here comes gallon number three. And this brings me right up to the water line. So this tank holds three gallons of water. Next I'll turn the water back on. And then I'll aim the refill tube into the jug and see how much water we bring back. The tube is aimed into the jug, and now let's flush the toilet. And you can see water rendering the jug. That was three gallons of water that just left the tank.
You will also note that the standard Compton tank held three gallons of water. We're full. I have about a half a gallon in the jug. So we will say that the Elger Silenta uses three and a half gallons per flush. It does not take much water to start the siphon on the Silenta bowl. I probably held that flush valve open for a couple of seconds. put in a few balls of wet toilet paper to simulate floaters. Let's see what the Silanta does. I don't know if you saw that, but it kind of held the last one right there until the water shut off in the tank, and then it uh, pulled it under. Sometimes, uh, objects float around right around the side like this and never go down. So sometimes this needs a second flush, but I don't consider that serious enough where I would get rid of this. I will conclude with a flush of the Elger Silenta. This is Vintage Toilets, Vermont, saying thank you for watching.